Plant Village has introduced the Malawi Digital Plant Health Service project, MADIX, to a Chitipa District Executive Committee. So this project is being implemented by government, Plant Village, Kabi, and other organizations. So the project is going to provide a digital tool for pests and disease management in selected crops including tomato, cassava, banana and maize. So our plant, plant village in this project is going to facilitate the integration of digital platforms that already exist out there to build a digital healthy plant health service that will be utilized by the district Chitipa and Malawi as a nation at large. This is a first for kind and the, as, a, as, as a district it will benefit. How I wish we started maybe last year, uh, farmers will benefit. You know Chitipa have got so many uh, farmers who has uh, no knowledge on the, uh, those uh, Techniques, yeah. It's been long since we embraced uh, technology as a district uh, in particular uh, and it is amazing that um, this technology can now be used in the monitoring of uh, pests as well as diseases, uh, wild crops uh, in, the, in the district. So I believe uh, and I feel uh, this is a very welcome development to the people of Chitipa. It is going to uh, provide real-time data in as far as uh, diseases for crops uh, percent and uh, the good thing is also that uh, once uh, we observe uh, these diseases or these pests or even the threats of these, uh, these things, uh, action can be taken immediately and this is going to significantly improve our agricultural production in the district. Uh, one time I was doing ASWAP programs so I was going about in communities so I could see a lot of uh, diseased maize and cassava, ground nuts and the like. So I feel that the project will help farmers because when they, they have these issues, they have these problems, they will not attend good use. Yeah, they will have very little use. So this project will help them because they will be able to, uh, to know what problem their, their crop has and maybe the solutions uh, they can provide to their crops. A plant village application for starters it is an AI tool for detecting pest and disease and it is very important in the sense that its features are very easy to use. It can be translated to local languages. Currently it is in English language and Chewa for our Malawian farmers but if need be, it can be translated to languages that favor the northern region of Malawi. And also a plant village application, farmers, they have that opportunity to receive advice instantly. And this part of the application works offline. So a farmer can scan their crops and receive um, advisory service in terms of the management of the same problem. We are looking forward to empower farmers to use new te to use technologies like phones in identifying that in identifying different pests which they count in their fruits and diseases so they can get extension services through online services. Our work will be to help farmers to use the plant village application and be able to work with them and identify different pests in their food. And our farmers will have that opportunity to interact with plant village field officers, call them to visit their farms and um, help in terms of management practices in agriculture as a whole and also pest and diseases. So as plant village as an organization, we work with smallholder farmers to help them adapt to climate change. So as the climate is changing, so is the rise in pests and disease incidences. So the coming in of Plant Village is helping farmers thrive. Our expectation is that they are going to be available in the district throughout because we need them. 
uh, for the operation of the uh, AG3 observatory. We may not have all the uh, expertise at login into the observatory or even to, uh, to, to, to decipher the information that is uh, in the uh, observatory. So we need their staff to actually to always be uh, here and provide interpretations where need be uh, in as far as the data that is coming in uh, is concerned.